Clan Nicholson's story begins with its roots firmly planted in both Norse and Gaelic heritage. The clan's name, Nicholson, is believed to be derived from Nick, meaning daughter of Gaelic, and Olsen, a Norse personal name. This intriguing blend of Norse and Gaelic influences mirrors the diverse historical connections that shaped Scotland's cultural mosaic. Heraldry played a significant role in distinguishing clans, and Clan Nicholson is no exception. The clan chief bore a gold shield charged with the heads of birds of prey, red hawks for McNeekale and red falcons for Nicholson. This shared symbol hinted at a connection with the Nicholsons of that ilk, although genealogical evidence to support this link remains scarce. The Norse Vikings left an indelible mark on the Scottish coasts and islands through raids and conquests. Harkon IV, the last Norse king to invade Scotland, sent his foster brother Anders Nikoason as part of an advance party. Nikoason plundered Butte and later settled in Scotland after diplomatic missions. This fascinating story highlights the intricate interactions between Viking invaders and the Scottish landscape. Throughout history, individuals from Clan Nicholson emerged as significant figures, leaving their imprint on various fields. James Nicholson, a lawyer in Edinburgh, made his mark in the legal realm and left a notable legacy. James Nicholson, the Bishop of Dunkeld, played a pivotal role in the ecclesiastical landscape during his short tenure. The clan's involvement in law, religion, and diplomacy showcases their diverse contributions to Scottish society. The passage of time did not diminish Clan Nicholson's identity. The clan's lineage continued through the centuries, with various branches, baronetcies, and inheritances shaping its story. The establishment of different titles, such as the Baronetcy of Karnak and the Baron Karnak of Karnak, added layers to the clan's narrative. In 1985, the clan Nicholson received a momentous recognition. The fourth Lord Karnak, who inherited multiple titles, was recognized as Nicholson of that ilk, the chief of clan Nicholson, by the Lord Lion, King of Arms. This acknowledgement solidified the clan's place in Scottish history and heraldry.